Hi, this is Jay Pierre at Websites for Beginners and welcome back to our continuation of our in-depth tutorial on Lifter LMS. Currently, we have this site here from Heather Scott, who is a motivational speaker. And she has posted a few online courses because due to the situation she is in currently, she cannot meet up with her clients one to one. So to continue her work, she has created some online courses, some of her old courses, and she has used Lifter LMS, the free version, to put it online. She's also giving these courses away for free. But what she wants in return is to keep engagement with her customers and then also probably generate new ones. As they enroll into these courses, she will get their email addresses that will allow for her to build up report and lead generation, everything that she needs to continue her business. Let's talk about notifications. And notifications, one of those things, again, it's better to show you what a notification is than to try and explain it to you. Lifter LMS, or any LMS for that matter, is a beast. There are so many levels of complexity in it, and you may be happy with just scratching the surface, but going in deep will allow you so much control over what you can do with this WordPress plugin. And that's why we have broken up these videos. We have the original 25 steps that will get you up with a free course online. And then with these individual videos, we build into the deeper foundations of what Lifter Alum is all about. And then also for the premium add-ons where you can have much more functionality. But for now, as you can see in the title, this is the Lifter Free LMS. So what we want to do, we want to look at notifications, and then we're going to see how you can have control over those notifications. A few things that I want to quickly set up. Currently, we have our online courses, but I have not created an area for students to sign in or sign out. And it's a good idea to give them that option somewhere on the page, on your home page, where they can sign in and sign out. And a good idea is for her to put it under online courses. And there are a plethora of ways that you can do it. You have to decide how you want to present it. Let's look at one. Now, this is one browser that I've got open, which I'm not logged in. And this is the browser where I am logged in. I'm going to switch between the two so we can have an idea how it will display for a visitor. Let's quickly set that up. I'll go to Appearance, Menus, and then we're going to set up a link here under our online courses. And what I'm going to do is I'll go here to Lifter LMS. Now I have to think very carefully dashboard. So the dashboard is your student area. That's a very good thing to put there that people can sign in immediately into their dashboard if they've signed up before. And I'll click here, add to menu. And then I will put that under online courses. I'm also going to click here and I'm going to call this student area. Give it a different name. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually provide a log out button here. And I want you to see what will happen. You have a sign in and sign out. Very important, if you do not see this panel, Lifter LMS over here, just go up here to screen options over here. It's probably deselected and then you will not see it appear over here. So make sure you select Lifter LMS to get this option here. Let's click again to open it and I'm going to only select sign out. Why not sign in? Again, preference, I'm going to show you why I'm not going to put sign in there. Here is the sign out. I'll drag it up to online courses and I'll put it under student area. Let's save the menu. Let's go to our front end. This is within our builder just to see how that will look. So online courses and we have their student area and sign out. I like to, when I'm working with Lifter LMS or a membership site, I like to go and look at it in a different incognito window or in a different browser just to see how it will look for somebody who comes completely new to my site. So let's update this here. We'll get online courses. And now I want you to notice I'm only going to see, ah, let me go back. I'm only going to see student area. I'm not going to see sign out. And that's why I choose the sign out one, because if you're not signed in, you're not going to see the sign out. By clicking on student area, it's going to tell me to sign in. That's the great thing. So you can put in a sign in there, 
or you can just say student area and it will take them to the student dashboard. That is my preference for it. You can put in the sign in on the other hand and it will sign them in. But I just like to play with the dashboard and that's how it works. Let's create an entire new student so you can see how notifications work. I'll click here and we're going to go through the user experience. User comes to Heather Scott. Heather, where have you been? Oh, you've got online courses. Let me see online courses. And I click on the online courses. Oh, okay, okay. So I understand Heather is at home, social distancing, blah, blah, blah. So I can only get her courses here. Stand up for yourself. I want to enroll in this course. I'm a little bit short on self-confidence. So stand up for yourself. Looks like the course that I should be going for. I click on that. And I'm more than surprised to see Heather is giving this course away for free. Enroll today. So I'm going to click on enroll today. And I'm going to create a new student, which am I. And I'll use my websites for beginners here. Info at websites for beginners .com. And I have to confirm that. And now password. I'm going to create a password and see the password strength will display it over there. And then I will type it in and then it will tell me, oh, good, strong. And the moment I click here and confirm password, you're going to see as I start typing, it's going to go down and it will say mismatch. It doesn't mean it's not a strong password anymore. It's just not matching the first one yet. So let me see. And I already know I typed it wrong. There we go. I got it. So here we're going to... Give it a name and I'm going to say 15 for Gelegen Avenue and let's call this, put this one in Cape Town. Oh, let's put this in Belleville instead. Don't even know. And that is in the Western Cape. Don't know the code. And then country is South Africa. That's all my details. Click on enroll now and I just have to remember which address I'm using here. So info at websites for beginners, I'm signing in as JP. And here you see course enrollment at the top. Focus on the one on the top. Pay attention, Bobby. Course enrollment success. Congratulations, you enrolled. Okay, why do I want you to focus on that thing there? That is a notification. We call that a basic notification. The next thing I'm going to do is roll over to my Outlook into my websites for beginners account here. And you will see that I've received an email. Let's get started, JP Palace here. Free and your login, your dashboard, everything here. So actually here, you get a link to your dashboard and you get a link to you, what you've logged in. So if I didn't put that dashboard on my site, I should be able to come back to this email and log in from here. This here, this email here is also a notification. This is an email notification. So we have identified two notifications. One is this one that pops up here. The other one is an email. Now I'm going to start this course and I'm going to start it so you can see a little bit more about notifications. When I click here on get started, it's going to open lesson one for me. Here is my first lesson. I'm at zero percent. And the moment I click on mark complete for this lesson, I'm going to get another notification. I hope today there it is. You completed a lesson and it's going to give you that thumbs up. That is again a notification. Over here, you can see under my first section, I have this lesson, Cheeto, and then the second le lesson is Luca. So I'm going to click here on Mark Complete for the second one. And now I'm going to get another notification. In fact, two. You completed a section and you completed a lesson. So it's going to give you these notifications every time you complete certain actions. That's what a notification is all about. You have some control over it. Now we go back into the dashboard and let's talk about these notifications. Go into the back end and we will go over to our Lifter LMS here in the WordPress navigation sidebar. Select settings. And up here in the tabs, we look for notifications. Here are the current notifications that you can work with. Off the bat, I'm telling you, you cannot create notifications. For that, we will look at engagements. You see here on the left, engagements. That's another tutorial because there are different kinds of engagements. 
These notifications are basically presets given to you by Lifter LMS. The first one was my enrollment over here. Have a look, and I'm going to just increase my screen a little bit so we have more to look at. Enrollment was the first one, and we got a basic notification on the site. The next one was lesson complete over here, and we got a basic notification. But wait a minute, we didn't get an email. I, I don't remember. I got this one for enrollment, but I didn't get an email for completing the lesson. And this is here where you have specific settings for some of these guys. You'll have to go through them and have a look at how you can set them up. So let's go into Lesson Complete and look at why I didn't get an email. Over here is the subject. So the subject is what's going to appear up here. Then we have the heading. The heading, right, welcome, blah, blah, blah. And then we have the contents. And the contents you're going to fill out with these merge codes that you can use. But most cases, you don't have to touch these things. The brains at Lifter LMS did a good job, so you don't really have to go and mess with this. What you are interested in is the part below here where it says subscribers. Now, a subscriber is the person that will receive this email. So there's a lesson author, a course author, or additional recipients. And you can see none of these guys are checked. If I check your lesson author, and in this case, the lesson author is Heather. That means the moment I complete this course, Heather will get an email telling her, hey, JP just completed this course. Sounds like a good idea. Until you have a thousand subscribers, you're going to get a thousand emails. So that's why this is deactivated by default, right? It's important to understand this. This is not activated it's deactivated, but there could be a situation where you want it activated for specific courses. But again, we're probably going to be looking at engagements for that in the future. So you see now, we, the student, me, I got that notification, but Heather didn't get a notification because it's not selected. If we go here to student welcome and click on email, Right, it loads, there's all the data. You're going to see subscriber. Who's going to receive this? The student. And that is the email that I got. You see, it says, welcome. So student, welcome, you're welcome. And there, it's already pre-checked for you because you probably want that student to receive the email as they enroll. And remember, we looked at the content over here. There is the login, your dashboard. And if you go back here, you will see your login and your dashboard. And that was again set up with these merge codes that are provided for that specific notification. In some notifications, some of these will not appear. In other notifications, they will appear. So what's your job? Your job is to go and have a look at these notifications. Just understand that they are there. Understand you have some control over them and some control you do not have. For example, if I go to Lesson Complete and I click on Basic, which is that pop-up that appears here in the top right-hand corner, you are going to see that there is only this control to switch it on or off. You cannot create new notifications, but you have control over whether it should appear or it shouldn't appear. So if you don't want your students to receive any of these pop-up notifications that appear at the top. For example, if I say again here, mark complete on this one, and then I think I should get another notification. Yep. If you don't want that appear, you are going to come over here and deselect this one and then say save changes. I'm going to leave it on that one because we're going to use it still a lot. Let me just save those changes in case I messed up. And then let's go back to all notifications. You can see there's a lot here. Quizzes, section complete, payment retry, and just go in here. Have a look at it and understand the difference between these two. Basic, those little pop-ups that appear here in the top right-hand corner, and email are notifications that can be sent either to the subscriber, which is the student, or to you, the trainer, the instructor, or you can even set up emails for specific people who will receive it.
What is important though, that I mentioned a few times now, you cannot create any here. You see, there is no add new. And that is where the power of engagements come in. And we will look at engagements because you've got achievements, which is very similar to notifications and certificates, and then just even emails. To get everything in one place, hop on over to the website at websitesforbeginners.com. Simply select tutorials and you will see Lifter LMS here under the WordPress plugins. And this will give you everything nicely arranged in one place for you to watch and where you can go wherever you need to go. That's Lifter LMS. I'm JB. See you in the next video.